Hi, welcome to differentiation 10, looking at closed intervals and specifically finding maximum and minimum values in closed intervals. Okay, by closed intervals I mean a, a specific range where you're given. If you're given a curve uh, between a certain values, looking to find what the maximum and the minimum values are over those given uh, values or that given range. Okay, now in a curve like that, there's only two places uh, that your maximum and minimum values can be. Okay, if you're looking between, say, negative 1 and 2, whatever it may be, the maximum values and minimum values are either going to be one or two places. Either they're going to be at the sides, so in this case, the side is the bottom, or they're going to be at a stationary point, because that's the point where they turn, so that'll be a maximum turning point in that closed interval. So to find the maximum and minimum values over a given range, you have to check these values. Okay, so first you have to calculate the value values at the, each end of the given range. Then you have to find your stationary points, check the y values of those stationary points, and then compare the y coordinates and make a statement regarding the maximum and minimum values. Okay, so there's a note just detailing that same thing there. Okay, an example we're looking for is uh, find the maximum and values of f of x between minus 1 and 3. Okay, so firstly we're going to check our extremities. Okay, and again I'm just going to keep a wee title going just to do that. That is awfully messy. But that says extremities. Okay, firstly, f of minus 1. That's going to be 2 times minus 1 cubed, minus 24 times minus 1. Okay, so that's negative 2, add 24, that's 22. Okay, so the y value at minus 1 is 22. Okay, f of 3 is 2 times 3 cubed, minus 24 times 3, 3 cubes 27 times 2 is 54, take away 72 is negative 18. Okay, so the y values at each end of the extremity, at minus 1 it's 22 and at 3 it's 18. Okay, now we need to set, check the stationary points. So, moving forward, we know that stationary points occur. And again, I'm giving myself a wee signpost when f dash x is equal to 0. Okay, so f dash x here is 6x squared minus 24 is equal to 0. Just a 1x power, so we can just cancel to the other side. So 6x squared equals 24, which means x squared is 4, and x is plus or minus 2. Okay, now we're only looking at minus 1 to 3, so the only one we're going to consider here is x equals 2. Okay, so x equals 2 uh, for that given range, we need to know the y value for x equals 2 x equals 2, f of 2 is equal to 2 times 2 cubed minus 24 times 2. 2 cubed 8 times 2 is 16, take away 48 is negative 32. Okay, so we've got three y values to compare. Okay, we've got the 2 from the extremities, which was... 22 minus and minus 18. Okay, so the three coordinates we're comparing are a uh, minus 122, 318, or minus 18 rather, and then the stationary point of 2 minus 32. Okay, so the maximum value, and this is where you make your statements, maximum value is 22 when x equals negative 1, your min value is minus 32 when x equals 2. Okay, so that's your communication then comparing these y values. Okay, so again, looking at the closed intervals, there are only two possibilities for where the maximum and values are. It's either at each end of the given range, so you're calculating the y value there, then you are finding your stationary points, finding the y value of your stationary points so that you can compare the y coordinates and make a statement regarding the maximum and minimum values.